Hey everybody, today we are diving into the world of uh, virtual assisting yeah. and what it is, why it, why it works, how or how it works, why it's done, and, and how really how it's one of the fastest growing ways to make money working online. And I am joined by Esther. She's the creator of the 90 Day VA program. She's been around, you've been around for a, for a while now. Yeah, we're getting close to 10 years. Oh my gosh. How many people have gone through your program at this point? Over 4,000. Over 4,000 people have gone through 90 Day VA um, and have launched successful virtual assistant businesses. And, and that's what we're going to talk about today. Now, listen, uh, I know that we have a couple of different uh, people watching today. We have people who are food photographers already. You're working with clients and you might wonder, like, what are some additional services that you can add to your business to maybe diversify some of your income? Maybe you are here because you uh, you, you like are interested in pretty focus, but you're not ready to take that leap yet, but you would still want to make money working from home. And I think that Esther and I very much have this passion in common is to help people make money working from home because we have experienced it ourselves. Uh, we have tasted the goodness and we, we just, I think we, right, Esther, we just feel so passionate that this is a, a possibility that you can have freedom, you can have flexibility, you can be there for your family, and you can make money while doing all of the things. Absolutely. I'm, I think when I first started this, I was a military spouse and we had to move all the time. And so I needed something that could move with me. And then we um, finished military and we started working. We, I wanted to travel. So we went and lived in Bali and we traveled around the world for a few years. And I was like, oh, I'm so glad I work online. And then I had another baby and then I became a single mom and it's all mm. on me now. And so I really, I've kind of gone through these different phases and it has made me really relate to the, all the different kinds of students that we have. We have people who fit all of those trajectories, but also some who are just caregivers for an elderly person, or they're really miserable in their job and they want to get out. So lots of different types of people are trying to shift into something that's more aligned with their lifestyle and how they want to be living. Yeah. I love that. So what is a VA? Like what, what, what is this? So a virtual assistant, I think, is a very small term for all the different types of things that a VA can do. How I like to explain it is they're essentially a business owner, and it's typically an online business owner, or at least has a lot of pieces that are online, but there's even room for physical location or brick and mortar to have VAs too, which I'll explain. Mm -hmm. But it's all of them all the business owners have in common is there's things in their business that only they can do. So only I can teach this class. Only I can do the client calls. Only I can run the errands or whatever the business is. But then there's a whole bunch of other things that need to happen in a business. The light, some light booking keeping, some social media marketing, some email management, some email inbox. And then there's the market. Like there's a whole bunch of different pieces to this that have to run that the business owner doesn't necessarily need to do. They don't have time to do. They often don't know how to do it. And so that is where a virtual assistant will come in. And they might not do all of those things for somebody, but they kind of, I say it's like a clone. It's like a second version of the business owner so that they can focus on the things that only they can do or that they need to be doing to grow mm -hmm. the business. And then they can have somebody who's doing all the other stuff for them. And that is what a VA is. Okay. So, I mean, when you talk about the services that a VA offers, the list is very long, really. It gets a little overwhelming. <laughs> yeah. And it's been hard for me, even as an educator, as this niche has grown, to know what exactly to teach as the core part of my curriculum. So different types of services could be, we, we were talking before, you could have a podcast virtual assistant who just does editing and, and puts the show notes and knows how to do getting the posts up. You can have someone who does video management for like a YouTube channel and social media channels with video. And that's just their expertise. You can have somebody who's just a high-end executive assistant. They help with travel planning and email inboxes and maybe some light customer service, but they're just like your kind of right-hand person. You can have people who do Pinterest, 
Pinterest is just one its own thing. You have people who do content writing. So um, a lot of people who are bloggers, they actually are hiring VAs to do all their content for them. And then you have VAs who do lots of that stuff. They're like, oh, I am a ex I'm just a content expert and I can do this. I can do Pinterest. I can do social media. I can do email and I can do your podcast and they can do everything. <laughs> so yeah. it really is cool because you can align what you like to do um, with what the services are that you want to provide. That's really, I mean, so you can really tailor the business to your strengths. Yes, exactly. And do the things that you want to do. I mean, just, just the same for the business owner, right? I'm tailoring yeah. my business to what I need it to be. And then what I enjoy doing and then hiring other people to do this, to do the things that I'm not good at, or I don't like yep. doing with a VA, you can really work within your strengths. And that's really what you should be doing. Yeah. Really. Like anyway. We'll match. Because, we'll yeah. Match my thing. yeah. So the, how does your program work then? Because I mean, you just described, you can do podcasting, you can do, uh, you know, YouTube, you can do email, you can, there are so many different things. Right. How does your program work? Does your program teach all of this? We've revamped it in the recent years. So one unique thing about, I've been around for, like I said, almost 10 years, but I have always kept up with my curriculum. And a lot of things shifted in the last few years. The mm -hmm. basic skills to be a VA became just that, really basic. And it's really hard to get a job doing some of the most basic stuff, which isn't really what I ever teach taught anyway. I was taught mm -hmm. more than that. And then we had AI come out. And that replaced a lot of the skills that VAs had previously been hired for. So I'm kind of, I'm always iterating my curriculum every year, every month. If I see something new, okay, let's do a new Instagram strategy because things have changed a lot this year. And so one of the things we did was we used to teach a good amount of skills training in there. But one of the things that we found was students were, number one, they felt like they had to do it all before they could be a VA and it just wasn't true. And they also felt like they would stop because they would get overwhelmed because they thought, oh, well, now I can't be a VA because I couldn't get all this done. Mm -hmm. And so what we did was I revamped all the curriculum and I took all of the skills training out. And instead what we do is we walk you through helping to figure out what the type of VA is that you want to be. I have, I think 11, I'm going on 11 different types of VAs right now. I just taught a class on that. All the different types of VAs you could be. We have a quiz that you can take to figure out which one you would like to be. And then we give you that skill set as part of your program. You unlock it for free. And uh, it's a bonus of the one that you would like to do. So if you take this quiz and you hear my little class on all the different types of VAs and you're like, oh, I want to be Pinterest. That's the one for me. Then you will, you get the Pinterest one unlocked. And then if later you're like, oh, I really want to add on blog writing and content because they really align really well. You can go into our shop and we give all of our students a discount and you can always grab more skills training if you would like. And I do um, live uh, intensives throughout the year as well for just new things that business owners are asking for. And people can join those too. If they, I'm just always adding new services because people are always asking for things. My students ask for stuff because their, their business owners are asking them. And I have business owners that come to me and they say, Oh, I really need someone to help me with my e-commerce business. And I hear that a lot. I'm like, all right, well, let's add e-commerce in there. So that's how we do it. And you can choose to do the free skill set, or you can choose to do a whole bunch of them. Oh my gosh. That's so cool. So they come in, you learn it because I know I saw module one. It's kind of you helps them start thinking of the portfolio type of portfolio that they're going to be building. Right. Yep. Um, and then so they take this quiz yep. and to see what area maybe their strengths are and the thing that they're most excited about. And then you unlock that for them. Yes. So it's so really to, oh, that's so cool. <laughs> and, and so, so they the 90 day wow. core curriculum is really just it's not just, it's, it's still, you know, hefty, but it's how to get a client, what to do when somebody says, yes, here's your contract. Here's how to do networking. Here's how to do your social media profiles. It's really the whole business piece of it so that we walk you through step by step, how to do a really great consultation, like all the whole thing of it, that's still all there. And it's just the skills part is like less overwhelming, very straightforward. And then you can get started much faster. Love that because Thank you. It's new. Oh my gosh. I love that. And then, and then as they, like they, you could just start with Pinterest and then once mm -hmm. you get a, a handle on that, then you can add in, you know, podcasting and you can add an email, like kind of as you yeah. are ready for it. So, cause I know you and I, we just want to help people give them all the information, right? Just, but it's, it's, it's like a be way too much. <laughs> it could be, it's like a fire hydrant, you know, it's just yeah. way too much information. So I love that you are kind of tailoring it and scaling it back 
to really help people to be really successful through the program because that's that's your goal is for them to be successful. And so absolutely uh, sometimes more I say that I say that all the time in the class. I'm like, I do not care if you ever finish any of this. I care that you get a job. <laughs> so we we had a question about from Sharon and she wants to know, I mean, this is really the this is the question, oh, sure. right? Is how much, how much can VAs make? Because they are looking for, you know, substantial income. So like, give us the reality of what they can make on average. Yeah. So it comes actually aligned with your skill set. I say there's like two factors. One is your skill set and mm -hmm. one is what it costs to live and exist where you are. So I live in Asheville, North Carolina and our living wage, you can Google what the living wage is for your area it's like $23, $24 US dollars per hour. All right. But then I have my team member, she's in South Africa. And for them to live like a bomb life, she was telling me it's 15 US dollars per hour. Okay. My boyfriend, he lives two hours away. For them, 18 an hour is ma amazing. So it's really like that to me is an important okay. piece of this. So you do have to consider, okay, what do I need that I'm going to feel really good about doing this work? Because I don't want to be feel working really hard for like $10 an hour, but oh, well, that's what I saw online. It's like not, you need to make it work for yourself. With that being said, there's kind of different levels of skills. So there's skills that business owners will typically hire that are around the 15 to 20 per hour mark. And that's really the starting for this. Okay. Then you've got skills that they're in the 20 to 30 hour per mark. It's kind of level two-ish, but it doesn't take long to get there. This is like a few months. And then the next one is goes up to like 35, 40 per hour. And it goes on up. Honestly, you can just keep growing and growing and growing. Yeah. So beginning one, 15 to 20 US dollars per hour. But again, if you live in like San Diego and that's not going to fly, well, then you just need to make sure you learn some skills that you can charge in the little bit of a higher rocket or just let people know that. Like I live in San Diego. So my minimum okay. is 25 an hour, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So like when you talk about, so it's experience, it, 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 does experience come into play as well? Not just the skills like would like, does like a Pinterest VA make more than like a podcast VA or <laughs> It's um, just, it is, it's based on the skill set, not necessarily the experience. So a good example is let's do different social media levels. Okay. So okay. one level would be like 15 to 20 an hour. Um, I schedule posts. I reply to comments and DMS. Maybe I use some templates to make some graphics. That's 15, 20 per hour. All right. Well now I'm coming up with a social media strategy. I'm creating custom templates. I'm doing a bigger, like launch campaign, working with the client on coming up with what the social media is we want to do with that. All right. Well, now we're starting to get, you can see how that quickly gets up to like 30 per hour. So that's, that's how it would okay. be differentiated. Same thing okay. with the podcast. It's like the client gives you an edited episode and then they just say, Hey, can you just schedule the post and use these templates to make the graphics for it and then get it up? That's going to be much cheaper than if it's, can you edit it for me? Can you make the show notes for me? Can you coordinate the guests for me? Can you just someone who's more well-rounded in podcast experience. That's how you would want to think about it. Okay. Okay. Um, so love more, love more. I love that you brought up that you're, uh, you work with somebody in South Africa because he is in that area as well. Okay. And, um, he's in Malawi, right? Love more. Um, does, so he's asking, does your program help with connecting students with clients? So two things first, we have a lot of students from South Africa, actually. And I truly believe that South Africa is like the next best great thing that's going to happen in the VA industry. It's only okay. a six hour time difference from the East Coast of the US. It's on the same time zone as Europe and the UK and they native English speakers. And apparently Cape Town's like a big tech hub. So I have a lot of love for that area. I've had two team members from down there. And we have a lot of students that are from there too. Someone awesome. talked about me in a magazine article. So I love that area. And I really think it's the next up and coming thing. All right. With that being said, yes, we do. We have a whole job board for students. Like I said, I don't care if you do my course. I care if you get a job. So part of the program, 90 Day VA includes 90 days in our job board. And people come from all over the interwebs to post jobs because they want to hire our trained students. And sometimes they even use me as an agency to find um, placements for them. And we only hire from our student pool. So you get 90 days included. And then after that, we just charge an optional maintenance fee. Cause if you're like, now nah, I'm good to go. I got clients. I don't need you anymore. Or okay. if maybe a few months down the line, you're like, Ooh, you know what? I lost a client. I need to come back. Then you can always come back and you just, I can't just post jobs forever for everybody. So it's maintenance fee after that. <laughs> okay. 
Nice. So that there, that's good to know that it is optional that you can mm -hmm. stay connected somehow to, to that job board if you ever need it in the future. Yeah. Um, how many people do you have coming that come back to the job board? Uh, how many people in the membership or how many business owners are posting jobs? I guess how many people in, in the membership, how many people just take oh. your 90 days and they're, they're good. How many people oh. stick around? It goes, it goes, it depends. So okay. a lot of people stick around because it's not just a job board. It's also a community. It's also weekly yeah. calls. It's also ongoing education. So if, you know, not everything needs a whole big course. Sometimes it's just, oh, hey, we've heard that this project management system is in demand. So we did a one-off class for it and we give it to our students. So it's kind of like longer term ongoing education for them yeah. and it's the job board. So there's a lot that's encompassed in it. So I've tried to create it as a space for wherever you're at in your VA journey that you have a place to be because this can feel very lonely. And so I yeah. want people to stay in there forever, but not everybody does. Um, we do a big okay. annual promotion every year and we have lots of people that will rejoin that and they'll kind of read kickstart because some of them fell off the bandwagon. So they'll want to start again. So, but we have about a thousand members in there. Uh, okay. Given that's day. awesome. So yeah, it's a good size group. Yeah. Okay. That's awesome. I love that. I love that. Um, so love more says yeah, he is from Malawi. He agrees. Cape town is so beautiful. Um, so what, where is your job board house? Is that on Facebook? Where is it on a separate website? What does that look like? Someday I would like to make our own job board. That's on my list. Maybe it'll be 2025. Um, but right now it's on Facebook and a Facebook group. We use hashtags and um, the Facebook group is also where our community is and where like the calls are. It's just been the easiest tool for us to use for that. And then, um, but someday we do email out a couple of our favorite jobs every week too. On Tuesdays, we have a student newsletter. So it's like, Hey, here's the new update that happened. Here's okay. our favorite jobs from this week. Hey, here's the upcoming call. We'd love to see you there. So on Tuesdays, all of our members get a little update with. All okay. Awesome. And then do you also have like clients in that, in the job board as well, or do they come to you and then you post in there? The job, the clients have a form that they fill out and then we like spiff it up and we put that into the, to the job board for the students. Got it. Okay. Okay. Very cool. So there's, they're still connecting through you, not directly with that client. I mean, you will, well, you put their information and then this, your students will reach out to them. Yeah. Your students reach out to them. I do not run a VA agency at all. No one you work does any work through me. Okay. You work with your clients directly. Okay. Um, that is something that I have always wanted to do because not everybody's going to be great, great at being a VA and I don't want to be responsible for their results. And I also, <laughs> for business owners, not every business owner is pleasant to work with and I don't want to also be responsible for them. That's a yeah. really different business. So I'm focused on being a virtual assistant educator and basically like a connector I'm always trying to recruit businesses to come in and hire students. And I'm very successful. We get like a handful of members only posts every week, which means business owners are coming and they want to hire my students. And then we also find jobs for students throughout the online as well. Our favorite right. places that we know are like really good trusted jobs. And so we have around 40 to 60 jobs for students every single month. But a chunk of those are from business owners that are coming to us because they want to hire our students. So, okay. How is that? I mean, so you have 40 to 60 every month. Um, and then you have like, how many students then do you have? Cause if you have a thousand people in there, um, how many are commenting and reaching out to try to get the job? Honestly, people struggle with this, but when I've had to hire for students, we can, we will often have less than 10, but sometimes it's like, like between 10 and 20 because okay. not everybody wants to do every job and not everybody's in there is actively looking for clients. Um, yeah. A lot of them just stay in there because of, like, like I said, ongoing education, yeah. community support, or they're just starting. They're not even ready to get a client yet. That's right. um, so yeah, everybody's at okay. different levels, but no, I think okay. people say that they're like, Oh, there's so many people in here. There's so much competition. And it's not true because I hire for jobs all the time. And I'm like, you guys, we need more people to apply. What is uh, the deal? <laughs> I, yes, I, I mean, you, you hear a thousand and you think, oh my goodness, competition. And, yeah, you, but know, you know, what? And I'm, I'm, I'm right there with you. I kind of probably have a very unpopular opinion that I think market oversaturation is, um, a term not everybody uses correctly. They don't understand. And I don't necessarily think it's a thing because there's millions of people in the world. And I think it's a, uh, an excuse that people use to not try. Oh yes. No, it's true. So. I also, 
you know, there's lots of places where you can look at jobs. I mean, Indeed gets thousand yeah. job applicants for one job. So I always think about, okay, what are we going to spend our time on? Yeah. Am I going to go to these remote job boards and just like send my job into these abyss of jobs that I don't even really want to do? Or yeah. do I want to spend my time on a much more targeted job board and people want to hire me and only 10 to 20 people are going to apply? I have a way it's better chance of getting an interview. Yes. 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 Okay. So because the, the clients there inside your job board and like same thing within our buyers club, they are like, I want to be here. Yes. You know, like they are the hottest of, you know, hot leads. If you want to talk about market oversaturation and, and competition going and finding work on, on indeed, that's, that is okay. We can talk about it over there. Right. But whenever you are in a group and the clients have said, I want to be here, like, yeah. I want to hire these people. I yeah. want to get work from these people. Like, you are working with a very targeted audience. And so not everybody understands that. Yes. Not everybody so, understands that. There's a difference. Yes. We have people that come from, like, they teach programs. So let's say similar to your program. Someone teaches e-commerce. I have a person who does ha runs a mastermind. I have a lot, a lot of people who run masterminds. Someone who has a PR program. And all of them, their students are all asking for VAs. And so we have deals with all of them. And so they use our hire link. And they want to hire a 90-day VA student. So it's not just like, oh, three people that, no, I'm talking like I've been building this for eight years. So we have referrals that are coming in all the time that want to hire. You have 90-day VA on your resume. This actually speaks volumes in the wow. online industry, even if you're not aware of it, it, it does. Yeah, that's huge. That's incredible. Like it, it is a, uh, um, I mean, it's your reputation. I mean, the fact that you, yeah. you're like, it's like a credential, right? It, it is. is. It's yeah. exactly what it is. And so, um, she, you know, Sharon had a follow-up question. She says she enjoys making Facebook and Instagram posts that she designs on Canva. Uh, for businesses, is there any money to like make in doing something like that? Sharon, yes. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of what I do on my mentorship calls or on group calls is that is like, yes, <laughs> <laughs> yes, so that's the whole job. I mean, I would tell you that that might not be the only thing that you would want to offer. You would maybe want to offer some of those other basic social media skills. So scheduling them, using scheduling tools, yeah. being able to reply in comments and DMs. Yeah. That would be really helpful. Um, maybe moving also into video because video is kind of becoming even more popular now than just graphics. Mm -hmm. So those are all things that you could easily learn in like a few hours <laughs> and mm -hmm. um, make a couple of things for, for a Google drive portfolio and boom, done. You have some services that you can offer. Absolutely. Seriously. She says that. And I, I've been telling, uh, I've been telling Ryan, uh, he's, he's my husband. He's, he's like this, all the billing stuff, <laughs> all the things I don't want to do. And he's mm -hmm. like, um, I'm like, I, I just need somebody to design like graphics for like all of my promotions for all of my, cause I, I do a lot of that stuff. I'm like, I just need yeah. all my promotions, all of my emails, all of my lives, all of them. Like, I just need somebody to make all my graphics for the whole year, get them done. It's yeah. Like they're all ready to go. So mm -hmm. yeah, Sharon, there is absolutely a need just as a, like for, for, pretty focus. I was just telling you beforehand, I was like, I got to have somebody who does podcasts and YouTube. Like I just have myself have a whole long list of things. And so that's yeah, a lot of what I've always taught is yeah. content because content marketing, it's, it's called like a, it's like a machine or like a monster. Like you can never make enough. There's always more. And so yeah. It's very overwhelming and it's something that BAs can always get jobs in. So it's always been a part of my curriculum, a main part yeah. of it. This isn't the first time that we've taught podcasting and social media management and graphics. I've been teaching it for like eight years because it's always something that business owners are hiring for always. Yeah. We just have well, a lot we have to do. Yeah. As a, as a business owner, I mean, I have a, I have a ton, I've got so much content out there and for me, like I want to create a whole, uh, like a, just a, a content ecosystem basically, yeah. right? Where it's like the blog and the YouTube, like it's it's all repurposed for these different uh, platforms. So I've got content on the blog. I want the content on the YouTube, on the YouTube. <laughs> I want content on our podcast. I want content yeah. on, you know, it, and reels and Instagram. And so 
like, I just want to be able to take one piece of content that I yeah. do and then have it per like purposed or repurposed for all of these other platforms. And so that's what a VA mm -hmm. can do. That's just one role that a VA that's can do. And then turn really it into email. Is because that's what business owners always want to hire for is content repurposing. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's, that's would be, I mean, I do a lot of that myself. And so it's like, I would love to have people be able just to take it and run with it and all of these mm -hmm. different, of course, I would have to do like the YouTube video, but then, you know, the, the getting it published and, you know, the email written for it, like there's just so many things happening behind the scenes that I'm doing all myself. And yeah. so I'm like kind of hoping you guys join the program. <laughs> So that you can hire, hire one of you. <laughs> so I can hire people. Um, you know, and I have project, like I have a project manager, but I need like, there's so many, so many tasks, right? That, that need people don't realize done. it. I think that that's why they're like, well, what does a VA even do? And business owners are like, <laughs> <Everything>. <laughs> what do you mean? What do they do? <laughs> but if you don't do this stuff, you have no idea. All yeah, the it's it true. Yeah, it's true. Um, so yeah, there's, there's a lot, there's a lot happening, but Esther, you have some incredible black Friday deals going for your program right now. Some that are ending tonight. Did, did I see that, that they end December 2nd? I mean, probably I can't even remember all of the deals because I have so many things that are going on. <laughs> I, yeah, but I have been getting all of your emails I'm like, Oh, this is great. Oh, this is so good. Um, the program that you guys would really, I think at this point would be the most helpful for you is our 90 day VA program. And it says our black Friday sale closes in two days and 10 hours. So there's a little bit more time Okay, okay good. just because I'm trying to remember all of the deals. I have two other deals that I did, but it's for like mostly more for current students. Um, one on email marketing and things like that. So one of the things that you get as a super fun bonus is you get that skill set for free. Like I mentioned, whichever one is the one that you would like to do. And all of those are newly updated. They include AI because that, you know, impacted stuff a lot. You also include 90 days into that members club that I mentioned with the jobs and the community and the bonus classes. We also get you, give you my EA skill school, which will teach you executive assistant skills. Cause I really feel like that's kind of basic foundation for everybody. And so mm -hmm. I wanted to make sure you guys have that. So that's a really fun yeah. bonus. It's over $900 in bonuses. Um, and then we're also giving you a brand kit. This is the special black Friday thing, a brand kit that is, that you can use for your social media, your social media for your own business. Um, you can use it to help design your marketing materials, like an onboarding thing that you give to a new client so that everything looks cohesive and put together. You don't have to figure out well, what's my logo going to be like, it's just easy and you don't have to worry about it. It's a template that you can edit. And then I also am giving you um, an AI workshop, little mini bundle that I did on how to set up AI so that it sounds like your client, so You can do things like repurposing and how to use AI to help set up email marketing campaigns campaigns for clients. So also weekly calls. We do weekly calls. That's pretty cool. They're a new part of the curriculum. Uh, we used to just have an open Q&A call, but now they're much more focused and targeted. So I'm actually doing one tomorrow with students. And it's about like mindset stuff that's probably coming up for you when you're going to do a consultation with a client and then how to successfully run those consultations. So they're really topical based on what you're learning in the curriculum. Okay. And there's a huge discount. So you can join. I love all that. Of that. Yeah. If you wanted to just do the course only, then that one is 497. But if you would like to work one-on-one -on -one with me or one of our mentors, then that one is 1497. Because like, obviously we meet every okay. month, you get voice memo access to me, I review your resumes and your portfolio. Um, for three months, you we, we work closely together. So that is 1497. Or you can get the course only, you'll still get the weekly calls and some of the other bonuses I said. And then that okay. one's only 497. And both of them okay. have payment plans. Awesome. Well, I just shared the link in the comments Amazing. Um, to enroll in the 90 day VA, get, get uh, adva take advantage of the Black Friday deals. And because I mean, really, so they enroll today, how quickly can they start working with clients? If you're like, I don't care, because with Pretty Focused, we do have them go through the program because photography is such a, a specific and visual skill. 
So yeah. we, we make sure that they graduate before and build their portfolio before they start working with clients. It sounds like your program might be a little bit different. So Mine is when- very self-paced. We okay. do have checklists of like, hey, we really think you should have this stuff done before you start applying okay. for jobs. You need to have a portfolio. And we call it, we have a thing we invented called the application kit, which is like a mix of your resume and your portfolio and testimonial okay. all in one thing. So we recommend you have that done. Um, and then you just need to have like the basics of your social media and stuff set up. So I, my goal is that students have that stuff done in the first like six to eight weeks maximum. Okay. And then yeah. the rest of the time they can just dig in into applying for jobs. Maybe they want to add another skill set on while they're applying for jobs. And so the last the last six weeks of your 90 days, you're securing clients and you're starting to onboard clients. That's how I. I do OK. It. OK. So it's not like after 90 days, I start working with clients. It's like really within the 90 days. I've had students finish the whole program like two weeks and then they got a job in like week the first month. Okay. All that's awesome. Not just one, like lots of people. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's awesome. So it just, how bad do you want it? What, what time you have? How what? Time you have? Yeah, exactly. Um, and then some people, you know, some people have little children and they can only spend very little time on this. Some yeah, of them have right. a day job and they can spend a lot of time. Some of them, some people have a lot of time or they may have no kids and they're like, cool, I'm going to stay up until midnight after work doing it. And they're done in a week. So. Everybody yeah. Different. Okay. <laughs> Okay. So, and then you get 90 days inside of the, for free inside of your job board, but then mm-hmm. afterwards you can continue to. You can if you uh, want. It's optional. We don't auto charge right. you. Um, yeah. We offer you a fun little deal at the end of your 90 days to encourage you to, to stick around. Also, I love I that. Like, I like everybody and I want you to stay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, cause it, I mean, it, I, I know a hundred percent what you mean when you talk about it being a you're siloed. And so community and who you surround yourself with is so important, uh, especially in this industry. Yeah. People are going to think you're crazy. They're going to be like, this is doing virtual assisting. That sounds like a scam. It's a little bit less so now, but I still have my students telling me that people are saying that to them. And I was like, I thought we finished that in the remote work era recently. Like I thought... Y'all yeah, are knew. we still saying that? I know. I know. Yeah, but people, they are. And so building a business comment, is, is no joke. People comment that on our on our stuff all the time that it's a, uh, that it's a scam. And I'm like, well, the grads who are making money working from home yeah. would say otherwise, you know, <laughs> like yeah. our students would say otherwise. Um, but you, people just don't know. They're so because they're so ingrained and they're so like the nine to five. This is what you do Monday mm-hmm. through Friday. I mean, that's what my parents did. You work mm-hmm. Monday through Friday. And anything other than that is like some people just can't wrap their minds around. Yes, that's actually really is. They have no concept for it. Like it literally is not something that they can understand because it's so far outside of what they find to be normal. Mm-hmm. So even people have a hard time even understanding a lot of times what I do. And I'm like, I have an online school that I run that I made up. It's to help people do this. And they're like, what? <laughs> so girl same <laughs> just so far out of there and that's okay I don't understand what other people do all the time like my friend's a physicist and I don't know what she does <laughs> it's true you're like scam <laughs> and right <laughs> oh my gosh that's hilarious but if we I kind of want to touch before we wrap up I want to touch on like the elephant in the room that's is like in every creative every online field and that's AI hmm. and how AI is going to take our jobs. I know photographers are like, and it, well, not photographer. I don't think our photographers and grads are concerned about it. It's people who are not working in the industry. They don't understand. And they think AI yeah, it's is like going to take it all away. Right. And you even said that it's replaced some jobs that a VA does. Can you mm-hmm. maybe speak to that? Yeah. So the first thing that I I have, I saw when AI came out that it was complete, I had to change all my curriculum because I taught manual content repurposing. And I was like, oh my gosh, they don't need a VA to listen to the podcast and make the show notes now. Now AI can do it. And so my job became teaching VAs how to use the software that auto generates the show notes <laughs> because business owners still don't want to do that. And so, and no, we don't No, And learning how to use the editing software that auto edits, but it's still only about 75% there. And so someone still needs to go through it. Um, and then I also saw that like, oh, content repurposing is still for sure a thing. They just need to know how to use AI tools and they're able to get a whole bunch more content done than 
somebody else. I have a whole program called um, Repurposing Revolution. It's literally just using AI tools to do content purposing for clients. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't as if AI replaced VAs. They just need to know how to use the software. And instead of having to manually transcribe stuff, they don't have to do it anymore. Um, yeah, so that's really the only it thing makes like I use it all the time. And, yeah. you know, I still hired a writer. Yep. And, you know, I still, I, I'm like, I use, I use chat GPT a lot for data analysis. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like I'll take, I'll take, you know, forms or I'll take sometimes chat, like uh, yeah. online chats and just be like, okay, what were the most uh, frequently asked questions that people had? And mm -hmm. instead of scanning through and reading everything th through line by line, like AI has just made us be able to do more work faster. Yes, absolutely. It, it, if you're wanting a fast, like a slow paced life, AI, <laughs> AI yeah. is not the, the way to go. No, but I think um, too, there is some stuff that's happened in the industry where I think I mentioned before, where like just the basic skills of, oh, scheduling posts and commenting and I can check your email inbox. It's not really going to be enough to have a successful, well-paying career as a sure. VA. And then, you know, even what you want to do next, that's really just considered to be baseline stuff now. Yeah. And so I will say that things have shifted in that way. Um, yeah. But otherwise, like now the AI says, like, you just need to know how to use the auto editing tool and you still have right. to know, is this good? Is this edited correctly? Is this the format of the right, how the podcast mm -hmm. is supposed to be? So you have to have that knowledge. Otherwise you don't even know if it's good or not. <laughs> so, I, yeah. I, yeah, because AI is never going to know like fully my voice. Like I, I will write things, you know, use it. And I'm like, that's not what I would say. I have mm -hmm. to go through and make the, make adjustments to everything. And so it, yeah. it, you have to have that final human element because it, because mm -hmm. it's not perfect. No, um, not perfect. but it, it definitely doesn't, I, I, I'm like, it definitely doesn't replace. It's a tool. It's like CPAs whenever uh, TurboTax came out. Yeah. Like pen and paper CPAs who didn't adapt to the software probably went out of business. Mm -hmm. But if you adapted to the software, right, you became even more valuable, right? Because you could exactly. get more done and you knew how to use the software. And so mm -hmm. being proficient actually in, in AI and using it as a tool, because yeah. that's what it is. I mean, you become more valuable to your, to your clients. Exactly. You'd be more valuable to me because I use it to help me repurpose things. So I'm just yeah. throwing that out there as a business owner, you guys, this is, this is a tool that I use. I would need somebody to know how to use this mm -hmm. uh, and use it correctly to make sure that it's still in my voice. It's still in our tone. It still represents our brand you know, all of that, those are things that a human can, has to be able to know how to do. Yeah. And I'm, I did all that in all of our curriculum. I've worked massively on updating it for the last two years. Once AI came out, I just dove deep into it and updated everything. And I'm really proud of that because not all of the VA educators have done that. And all mm -hmm. of our stuff is like up to date, 2024, 2025. And if I see something that's coming out new, I usually already know about it and I'm already like, okay, cool. Here's, here's how you can use this tool now to make this graphic for this. Like whatever the things is, I try and really stay up to date on behalf of all my students so that they all know. And all of our stuff is always up to date. I was going to say one more thing. It can feel overwhelming. Like, oh, well, I can't get into this because it's like so far and it's the jobs are going to be, you know, not as many jobs because of AI or whatever the thing is that the best time to start is now because you're right. Stuff is going to change in a year. But guess what? If you're in the industry, you change along with it. And you're like, oh, cool, a new tool to do this thing that I've been already been doing. It's just a different tool. Who cares? And so the best time to start in any type of online endeavor is going to be right now. Because, yeah, the tech's going to keep changing. But as long as you're familiar with it, you keep changing with it. It's not 100%. like you got Facebook like and then you got Instagram and then you got TikTok. <laughs> it's the same idea. <laughs> yeah, right. Like change is the only constant. Mm hmm it's the only, it's the only, ironically, is the only thing that you can count on is that things will change, but are you going to adapt? Like that's the same in every market, in every industry. It is not brand new information, no. you know? And so, but there's, it sounds like that you provide such incredible tools 
that you are on top of it and you really help navigate your community through these changes. Trying. Yeah. To make sure, right? I mean, you're doing, you can lead the horse to, to water, but you can't make him drink, right? So. <laughs> no, I think that they've done a really good job. It's just really <laughs> like, they come to RLR intensives or learning the new AI tools. They're really excited about it. They speak smartly with clients. They're landing clients. So I think they're doing a good job. Like okay, this. good. <laughs> good. But it's like you, you know, it sounds like you're on top of any shifts, any changes uh, that happen. And so I think that's huge, um, especially in, in VAs. And the world of being a virtual assistant that can be rapidly changing, yeah. um, especially now. But, you know, you guys, if you are looking for a, w- a way to bring in income working from home, like this is a thing like this is this <laughs> is a thing that that people do. And I think it's an incredible the fact that you're here, the fact that you're listening to this you know, you, you, you know it, you're not one of those people who think, oh yeah, the nine to five, like, you know, that there's something different, right? Like You know, that there's something more and you are working hard to try to make it happen. And so programs like pretty focus 90 day VA are here because it is a thing. You can have freedom. You can have flexibility. You can work from home doing something you love, whether that's photography or whether that is creating graphics on Canva and helping and come alongside business owners and helping them in their business as you grow yours. Like this is, this is a thing. It is very possible to do something that you love. Yes, absolutely. And so I want to wrap, before we wrap up, I just wanted to see if anybody has any questions for Esther um, about the 90 day VA program, about being a VA, about what they can expect, about um, whatever whatever questions that you have. Um, so Esther, how many do you see creating a full-time income out of this versus maybe just a side gig? It really depends on the person because not most people come into this and they don't necessarily want to do a full-time thing. That's why they're in. Some mm-hmm. people do. Um And it also depends on the jobs that are coming in. So some of the jobs are full-time, but I'll Mm -hmm. tell you that most of the full-time jobs, you're going to be an employee if it's U.S. based because of the tax rules. And so there's going to be a little bit more, some stricter stuff with that. You're going to have to probably have more set hours. There's like less flexibility. If you are a contractor, uh, then you're most likely to have less than full-time hours. You might be in a different country. It's way easier. <laughs> it sounds like it would be harder, but it's actually way easier. And then um, you have more flexibility. So you work whenever you want to. And okay. so, so yeah, the full-time. And I always tell people, you know, don't focus on the hours, focus on how much money you want to make. Because in this industry, you can start at 20 per hour. And in six months, you can be making 30 to 40 per hour. And that's not normal in most other career trajectories. So, and then in year two, you can keep going up, up and up. So I always focus on what your income goals are and not what your like hour goals are. Okay. Gina asks a very specific question. How can a VA work for a tattoo artist? Hmm. How many tattoo artists do you know that have their marketing so on point. Like their social media is so good. They have a really good system for when somebody, I'm laughing because I already know the answer to this. They have a really good system for when somebody wants to get a tattoo. It's very professional. They like follow up with them. They have it booked. It's like all organized. They have a really good way that they accept payments. Do you know a lot of tattoo artists like that? Probably not because they're not like that. I have, you know, I have almost a full sleeve, so I already know um, that is all pieces of their bookkeeping. They're probably not doing any bookkeeping. Mm. Most of them just like like to get paid in cash. Um, yeah, and so that is all the types of stuff that you could help them with. Getting their social media set up. Maybe you go in once a week or twice a week, and you do some filming for them, or they just send you some of the footage before the pictures they're taking and you make something cool for their profiles. Um, Maybe you help organize collaborations with different things in town that are going on to help with marketing, like local type of efforts. And maybe you help them with their bookkeeping and their finances. Um, Maybe you answer their phones. There's ways where you can answer phones remotely and do the bookings for them on a calendar. So there's lots of stuff you could do for a tattoo artist. 
Yeah, endless. I think you're you're laughing because you're like, how many do you know that like they they just like to create, right? Yes. They're just like the ultimate artists. They don't. Yeah. They're not administrators. Every creative needs an admin. Yeah. Okay. Like I, I am a creative. Uh, my husband does a lot of the administration. And then I have a business coach who's also very administrative. Like I have administrative people in my corner. My my um my sister, who's our project manager, admin, right? I'm the creative. I have to mm -hmm. have that. And so I guarantee that tattoo artist is a creative and they need to have an admin in their corner. Somebody's going to manage the calendar. Somebody's going <laughs> to help with the emails, all of those things that you just described. So, yeah. Yeah. So love more asks some great, great questions too, because, um, when you talk about rates, depending on location, is this the client's location or his location in his case, would he be expected to charge you know, Malawan rates or U.S. rates if his clients are mostly in the States? When you're just starting, I always tell people the minimum is 15 U.S. dollars per hour. If you want to start lower than that, because for you, you're still quite happy with the rate, then you can. And you'll get a lot of clients if you're paying, if you're willing to take a lower rate than that. Um, but I can tell you that I pay my VA who's in South Africa, I think 23 to 25 an hour US dollars. And I paid my bookkeeper, oof, like way more than that. <laughs> um, she was really our like finance manager. So it it's like a matchmaking service. Like I said, you have to find what is what you would like to make. Mm -hmm. Oh, I helped when I lived in Bali, I helped a bunch of Indonesian students too. They made crazy amounts of money because they charged in US dollars. But you have to have the US dollar skills, the US dollar language level, the US dollar hours, that has to align. Otherwise you can't charge the US dollar rates. But if you're right. also like really happy, like I said, you're like, I'm good with like 13 US dollars per hour. That's sweet to me. You will be booked out. <laughs> yeah. Yes. 100% would be booked out. Yeah. Um, that's what I mean about South Africa and anybody who's like, can speak English at least pretty natively or near native, you have such an opportunity because yeah. you can charge way lower than anybody else. And in that speaks English natively, and you're mm -hmm. happy with that. A lot yeah. of us, if we want to pay less than 20 an hour, we don't know about y'all. And so we're having to hire overseas and there's like a freaking 20 hour time difference. They don't speak English very well. They don't have the skills that we want. They're, they're awake at the opposite time zone we are. So we can't work effectively together. And so it's a huge opportunity. I really believe so. And my students yeah. have found the same thing. They're all doing fine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and so he had a follow-up question. He was like, I'm interested in podcasting and video editing, but this isn't as yeah. huge in Malawi. So I don't know if most of my clients would be outside. Yeah, love more. Your your clients would probably be well all over the world. Do you really have? Do you like have a? Um, do you see that most of the clients are American or Canadian, or are they? Do you see like clients and jobs coming in from all over the world? So our job postings are worldwide for sure. Okay. Um. And I specify that on the form. I say, you know, what level of English and where in the world can they be from? And so, like I said, where if you're, if someone lives within America and they want to hire an American, it gets much more complicated for them. They do much better to hire outside America because of the tax rules here. Yeah. <laughs> so it's much easier for them to hire overseas. My entire team is overseas, just to give you a little preview. Um, so you should be fine, but I would say like, I really want people to learn what I'm trying to teach you as part of the core program in 90 day VA and even our programs onward is you don't need to rely on job boards anymore. Like there is a time where you don't need that. You know mm -hmm. how to find clients on your own and you just have bookings showing up on your calendar. So like the job board is really just to get things going. And then once you get your first few, you should be good. And then after that, it's about creating a system for yourself, just like you will do for business owners that you work for so that you have clients that are automatically contacting you and that you know how to network. You're doing regular kind of networking and you're doing less of the like job boardy thing. Yeah. So you have okay. more freedom. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the job board is just, to kind of help you get your feet wet, but then mm -hmm. you start to know people. That's community. Like these yeah. communities are so important. I love that. So does anybody have any more questions before we wrap up? These are all this really good been, questions. There, there's so many great questions, you guys. 
Um, and so I wanted to make sure the link is, um, in the comments, this is our, this is, I'll tell you, this is an affiliate link. We're an affiliate with 90 day VA. We're excited to be, uh, to, this is a, a new relationship that we are starting with 90 day VA, um, because we have a lot of, uh, audiences with similar goals to work yeah. at home, to make money working at home. And so it's just such a natural fit. Um, like I said, whether you're a photographer wanting to add in services or you are, you want to maybe go a completely different route or you want to do pretty focus, but not yet, or like what, like whatever, however it fits in. Like we just want people working from home. Yeah. That's our greatest desire uh, is to yeah. see you succeed. However, however that looks for you, whatever that looks like. Um, and so that, that's our, that is our greatest desire is to see people working at home, doing something they love, living a yes. life of freedom and flexibility. So you yeah. guys, thank you. Go, Oh, go ahead. I was going to end on this. Like we have people who we have photographers that come and hire our students and we have food bloggers that come and hire our students. So if you're here because you had an interest in this, but it's not really your thing or you're not ready yet, or it's not quite there yet to make the income that you want to make from um, this awesome stuff that she's created, then it's okay to start in something else. And you'll still get to work in that same niche. I always tell people like, what's something that you're interested in? Are you really yeah. into, I'm really into like Montessori and early childhood development. So that's my thing. What are you really into surfing? Are you really into gardening? You get to pick what the things are that you're interested in and you can really try and find clients that align mm -hmm. with those interests. And so it's the same thing here. We have photographers that come and hire students. We have food bloggers that come and hire students. The same kind of thing. And you yeah. know how to find those jobs. Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's, I love that you say that. Cause I mean, our, our grads have even started to hire each other for like recipe development and everything. Okay. And so, um, and I know that they're looking at, okay, I need a VA to help me, you know, manage clients or get recipes delivered or upload to, you know, my shops. Like there's just, it just, it just feeds itself. Like it's just an ecosystem that feeds yeah. itself. And I love it. I love it um, so this was going to be Angie's question says, I have a friend that's interested for sure. Angie, this will be up on our podcast and YouTube later. Um, the only thing that is not going to be there are the, um, the black Friday deals do end on, I think the December 4th. Um, and so, the, but the program is open. Like you yeah. have open enrollment all the time for yeah. the 90 day VA program. Right. So yeah, throughout the year and you'll get different bonuses depending on when you're joining, but okay. um, we tried it with the job boards always going to be included and the core program obviously is always included. So. Okay. Awesome. Esther, thank you so much. This was fantastic. I'm so excited to see um, our, you know, community jump into this. Um, and so, oh, I, we have a couple more comments. I want to, um, talk. love more's got questions. I love this. Love more. <laughs> Do you have anything to say about platforms like up, Upwork because he's had zero success on them? Yeah. I hate Upwork. It is the worst. I tell all my students to not go on there. <laughs> Um, Upwork is people that are trying to look for the cheapest and fastest option. And I have a saying that I do not make basic VAs. We don't make basic VAs around here. So if you're looking for the cheapest and the fastest, you are not going to find it with my students. Um, so like I said, I like my people to come and get started with our job board. That's why we have it to help you get going. Our jobs are minimum 15 per hour. They're all long-term minimum five hours per week, um, to get you going. And then they'll either refer you around or you can come back to the job board and find more, or you also learn how to set up your own systems so that you can mm -hmm. start to find your own clients and have clients approaching you. So that's my goal. I don't recommend program software like yeah. Upwork or any of those actually, um, but we do have an ebook we give our students that has my favorite job boards that have good remote jobs or VA groups that have jobs that are for VAs. So I do give those resources if people wanna look outside my job board too that are vetted by me that I know are good ones. Um, but yeah, Upwork is not on there. Yeah. And I think it, it goes back to, again, your job board is so tailored to people who are looking for VAs. They have a need, like they're coming to you for this specific need with Upwork. There's so many other things on there, right? It's not just VA. It, there's so many other jobs that I think you can hire for. It's very, very broad. Yeah. It's just freelancing. It's, it's just freelancing. yes, it's, it's yeah. very, very broad. 
And I think it's awesome for what it is. And for people that make it work, that's great. Go for it. But it's just not really what what I do. I teach like higher end skills, higher end businesses. Absolutely. The thing, the thing with job boards, you know, the thing with programs like 90 day VA and pretty focused, you know, in our buyers club and in your job board, those people are, are, like I said, they're hot leads. They're there because they, they are looking for what those groups have to offer. Right. And so you are going to see, it's going to be just a little bit easier to connect in within those boards versus being like a little fish in a big pond. Yeah. Is kind of what Upwork is. And like you said, it, it definitely has its, its place. Obviously people use it, but this is just so specific, mm-hmm. you know, this is so specific. So anyway, all right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Esther, Thank you so much for sharing your knowledge with us. I'm so excited, like I said, about the community, um, just learning more about being a VA. I know they're like already telling their friends about it because this is this is a great a great way. And it sounds like not people like I've I've known about it for a long time, but oh, people are just learning about it yeah, for the first time, and it's I'm, so exciting. People don't that, know what I do. Um, I will say to you, you know, if you're still unsure or you want to talk to me more, my Instagram is Esther underscore Inman. I still would encourage you to use Melody's affiliate link though, as a thank you to her for having me. Um, but I'm super happy to chat with you. I voice memo back and forth in my DMs. I'm very active on my stories and stuff on Instagram. So if you're just kind of need a little bit more time and you want to talk a little bit more, I'm, I am available. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here, you guys. Um, I hope that you guys have a fantastic day and we'll talk to you later.